Also, to note, this dude is very, very simple. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. In this one, we're actually going to be doing a two-fold. Uh, and that is because you have to go through one boss to get to another boss. And because of that, I decided to just merge both bosses in the same video. Uh, and I think it'll be a little bit more entertaining for you guys to watch two separate boss fights instead of just one. Uh, but the first one in question is actually going to be... Uh, a boss which is like a dog pretty much called Maul. The reason why I know that is because we are in the burrows as you can see in the top left corner and this essentially goes into the stalker's den which is where Maul resides. The cool thing about that is that if you initiate the fight a certain way you get this item and that item is used to summon if you will the second boss at a later time so we're i'm going to show you that once we get there but for now i want to go through the bar the burrows so that you can see exactly what kind of the enemy variation and all that stuff here in this dungeon so with that being said let's get to it all right guys so let's go ahead and start going through this place i hate those things right here by the way because they literally explode man like radiation it could be a pain in the ass, dude. And those summon skulls also. Summon skulls. I'm over here like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh. Alright, so is this the way? I think this is the way. Let's just jump down. I don't even care if it does damage. Which it didn't, but that's good. So, yeah, these there's like a lot of these skulls, man. They're, uh, they're like lost souls from Doom. In here, there's sometimes like a, a trait uh, or even an item in here. So just uh, if you ever see that room, definitely look inside because you just never know. Oh, let's go ahead and kill that dude. Oh, what the hell? I thought I killed him. Go away. Oh. I'm over here messing it up. I'm over here thinking that I fought him and beat him and everything, but apparently not. All right, let's look up here. Sometimes there's stuff up here, too, so do that. Bam. Those ostriches, by the way, can be a real pain in the ass. By the way, I'm actually playing on my main character, so this guy has all traits maxed and everything. This dude is pretty strong. Ah, uh, not this guy. See what I mean? He blows up radiation. Go away. Let's go ahead and heal. Before I end up messing around and I end up dying. So it looks like we got a Tome of Knowledge, which obviously doesn't do anything for me because I'm already at max traits. But let's go ahead and come over here. It feels like we I've already took out everybody in this place, but nope, not yet. Did I kill him? No. Oh, yeah, I did. That was just another one that decided to hide. Oh, look, we got an item over here. I wonder what it is. All right, so Leech Ember. Leech Ember is actually a pretty cool one, I think. I'll show you what it is in a second. So Leech Ember is a big melee-focused uh, ring. Uh, as you can see on the top right, it says melee hit steal health from enemy. So if that's something that interests you, this is a possible location for it. But it actually looks like we've already, you know, went through this entire boss. I mean, a uh, uh, dungeon. So let's go ahead and go into the stalker's den and continue. All right. So we're here. And as you can see on the top left, right about now, we're at the stalker's den. So this is the location where you find Maul. But the reason why I say you have to, like, do something a certain way, I'll show you right now. But, uh, when you walk in here, no one or nothing is going to attack you. And this NPC right here is actually going to be friendly. This right here is Maul. And he summons a lot of dogs and stuff like that. 
But the product that I'm talking about is actually this thing on his forehead. And you have to basically shoot him in the head. But first things first, really quick. If you're here, take advantage and go through his inventory. Because this is the only place where you can get the jerky he sells. This right here. And it's really, really strong. Critical hits damage by... Uh, increases critical hits damage by 15%. Lasts for a whole hour, 60 minutes, and will stay in effect after death. This, I've noticed, is even if you end up leaving the game and coming back. So it's in-game time, not just time period. So it's really, really strong, man. As you can see, I got quite a bit of it. Alright, so let's get started. Hopefully, I, I get nervous every time I do this, man. Because in order to be able to do this, you have to shoot off this thing from his head. And you just never know until it's pretty much over. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, it looks like I did it. Because Maul is now eating him. Awesome. So, uh, there it is, the control rod. That's what you need in order to summon the next boss. That was actually pretty quick. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the next portion. Alright, guys. So, once you have the control rod, you want to come over here to the Wasteland Merchant. Also, it is very, very, very important to note that just because you have the ability to fight Maul... Doesn't mean you have the ability to actually come to this location, the Wasteland Merchant. And vice versa. Sometimes you'll find the Wasteland Merchant, but you won't find the ability to fight Maul. And because of that, this can potentially become a grind fest. For example, for me to get both of these locations, I had to grind for two and a half hours. And I'm not even joking. But... To skip to the uh, video, we're just going to go ahead and continue. Once you have the control rod, you want to come to this construct right here. This is the ancient construct. You click X uh, for this scenario, obviously, because I'm using an Xbox controller, even though I'm on PC. Uh, and then you want to insert the control rod. Once you insert the control rod, the battle starts. So here we go. Also, to note, this dude is very, very simple. Oh, he summoned the thing. Let me get out of the way. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. Well, that went disastrous for a second. But he's dead. Obviously, that was a careless way to fight him, but... Once you uh, uh, fight him, you actually get something out of him. But we're going to go ahead and go back to Ward 13. And so that you can know exactly what you get from fighting both of these bosses. Alright, so when you fight Maul, which is the first dog, uh, you know, boss that we fought at the beginning of the video. You get a crafting item called a Hound Choker. And essentially what that does, it allows you to... Uh, craft a weapon mod called the howler's immunity as you can see right there on the right and what it does is that it projects a 20 meter aura that moves with the caster and reduces incoming damage to all heroes standing in the aura by 25 percent and this lasts for 30 seconds so i mean again this is one of those things that is good for like defense and stuff like that but personally i've never used it I'm not really a defensive type of user, however, I do know people that have used it, and they say it's a pretty decent uh, weapon mod. However, I, I do want to know what you guys use it, if you guys use it, of course, and how you guys like this weapon mod. So, fighting the Ancient Construct grants you the ability to get the uh, weapon, or the uh, crafting item called the Ancient Core, and essentially what this does is that Using that crafting mod, you're able to craft a weapon mod called the Iron Sentinel, which is the turret. 
and it's perfect for uh, summoner builds or any build really that just wants a little bit of added uh, DPS added to their character. And I've actually used it for quite a long time once I got it. It is a very, very good weapon mod. I highly recommend it. Uh, but again, it, it, it is kind of a grind fest unless you're lucky and get it on your first playthrough, which I wasn't. In this specific situation, I grinded for uh, about two and a half hours, I think it was, uh, just to get the ability to have both of these locations in the same playthrough. But with that being said, what do you guys like better uh, of these two weapon mods? And do you guys actually use them? How do you guys use them? Or anything like that but with that being said that's gonna do it for this video drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and catch you guys in the next video deuces